we're going to try something really insane. That is, uh, put the O3M on the 4x4, run it through some muddy water, and then hose it down at the end. Actually flood it with water, and I can bet it will still be working. It might sound crazy, but we're going to run the controller over by a 4x4. These controllers, believe it or not, go in really harsh environments and works as the brain of the, of the vehicle. So in other words, we're going to run the brain over by a 4x4. So I've got my vehicle here today, we're going to take it down a very muddy track. We've got extreme conditions. It's really cold, it is really windy, it's really muddy. So what's the idea? Put these sensors and this controller through this harsh environment and prove that they can still work. Jeez, come on! <laughs> I work with these products day in and day out, you know, and I know they are built for harsh environments, but to actually put them in something more severe yeah. was just next level for me. To know that these things can handle such ridiculous environments, but to see them out in the bush, to see them in the mud, and see the way the, the environment actually really challenged these senses, I thought it was a great day to see the outcome. Yeah, yeah, especially the fact that you ran the, your 4x4 over the controller, yeah. stuck in the mud, and you could still see the lights flashing, you know, and that is still working. <laughs> 